Kimberto Kimberto presents, as part of a project for Sonoma State University, fossil collecting at the Green River Formation with a visit to the Fossil Butte National Monument. Once again, here's a map of my journey. This time we go to the northernmost leg of the journey, visiting Kimmerer, Wyoming, where we go to the American Fossil Quarry and the Fossil Butte National Monument. Kimmerer, Wyoming is about three hours north of Salt Lake City off of Interstate 80. Before we get to Wyoming, let's review a little bit. First of all, what are fossils? Well, fossils are the preserved remains, impression, or trace of any once living thing from a past geological age. And there's basically two general types of fossils. Body fossils are the preserved remains of an organism, like the fish pictured here. Then you have trace fossils, which are a fossil record of biological activity. This preserved dinosaur footprint is an example of a trace fossil. Fossil formation is a relatively rare event, with far less than 1% of living creatures becoming fossilized. Certain conditions make fossilization much more likely. For instance, hard parts fossilize more easily than soft tissue. The remains must also escape destruction after death, often by a quick burial or being in a low oxygen water environment. A calm, relatively unchanging environment also favors fossilization. Finally, Deposition buildup helps the fossil formation process. We still need to know why we have such great fossils in Wyoming. Well, about 50 million years ago in the early Eocene, drainage from the surrounding mountains formed the Eocene Green River Lake System, as shown here on this map. Fish, reptiles, arthropods, plants, and all kinds of other organisms lived, died, and sank in these lakes. In some of these lakes, there were ideal conditions for fossil formations. Well, these lakes have dried up and there are now basins in Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado containing fantastic fossils. Here we are in Kimmerer, Wyoming, the self-proclaimed world fossil capital. Here is the road to the American Fossil Quarry. The quarry is one of several that allows paid to dig fossil collecting, and it is located about 12 miles northwest of downtown Kimmerer. Their website has excellent detailed driving directions. Most cars can navigate the 10 miles or so of dirt road to the quarry, although cars with limited ground clearance might have some trouble. And at this sign, you descend into the quarry where the famous split fish layer is exposed. The highly laminated shale is removed from the area to the right in this photo and placed in piles for splitting. It can be hot, dry, and very windy at the quarry, so it's a good idea to have a brimmed hat, sunglasses, and plenty of water. You may also want to bring a lunch or a snack. It is also helpful to have something to sit on. A five gallon plastic bucket works well. The quarry supplies adequate tools for splitting, instruction on how to split the shale, and has several saws for trimming your finds. On my first visit to the quarry, it took about an hour to find my first whole fish. This nice example of the Wyoming state fossil, Nydia eocena. After splitting open a piece of shale and finding this, I wasn't sure what it was. So I asked a worker at the quarry if he knew what it was. He told me it was coprolite, probably from an alligator. As we all know, coprolite is fossilized feces, which is a good example of a trace fossil. The split fish layer is composed of laminated lime muds, averages about six and a half feet in thickness, and is directly behind the dump truck in this photo. At this quarry, they must remove a tremendous amount of overburden to get to the fossiliferous split fish layer, which represents about 4,000 years of deposition. This quarry is located within the lower portion of the fossil butte member of the Green River Formation. It is known as the split fish layer or the sandwich bed layer because the shale tends to split along bedding planes exposing the fossils. The 18 inch layer is younger and lies atop the split fish layer. It is also known as the black fish layer for obvious reasons. I split this specimen at the American Fossil Quarry. 
It shows how the shale from the split fish layer splits along the fossils, resulting in a left-handed side and a right-handed side. Notice it's split along two separate bedding planes, as indicated on the left portion. There are fossils from four separate fish here. Can you see them all? There's more than just fish fossils in the fossil butte member. There's turtles, stingrays, crocodiles, mammals, arthropods, and much more. Here's an example of a Heliobatis radians array that was taken from the split fish layer. As an example, here's a specimen from the 18 inch layer, not from the American fossil quarry. Notice the darker color and superior preservation. The shale does not split well and the fossils are exposed only after detailed preparation. If you leave downtown Kimmerer, Wyoming and head west on US 30W for about 13 miles, you'll find the turnoff for the Fossil Butte National Monument. This is the entrance and it has an interesting geologic timeline from the entrance all the way to the visitor center. You can see the timeline on the right railing leading up to the visitor center. The visitor center has a wonderful display of the Essene fossils from the Fossil Butte member of the Green River Formation and outside has a couple of hiking trails, one of which leads to a fossil quarry which is not open to the public. Including a hike on the quarry trail, two and a half to three hours is a reasonable visit for this location. This is an example of a section of the timeline, this one at 520 million years ago. You can see uh, at this point, archaeocyanthids disappeared from the fossil record and forams and trilobites made their first appearance. This is one amazing mass mortality plate, which is on display in the visitor center. According to the ranger I spoke with, this approximately four by eight foot specimen was removed in one piece from the quarry located in the National Monument. This is an example of what you can expect to see at the Fossil Butte National Monument Visitor Center. Notice this exhibit features plant fossils. By the way, this National Monument is free of charge. The fossil deposit here in Wyoming is considered a logger stock which is a deposit of extraordinary fossils with exceptional preservation. It is very unusual for the general public to have access to collecting at these types of sites. We are very fortunate to have two such deposits on this trip. Please join me on my other videos as we travel south into Utah and across the Basin and Range. Thanks for watching.